Mmm, fresh out the oven. You do well. In a game like TF2, you have to work with your team to actually do somewhat decently. I mean, you could say that, no, you really don't. There, You can go out there and lone wolf it all by yourself, and you'll be able to do just fine. But you really can't. I mean, there's always, at the very least, you need teamwork with a medic to keep you alive. You need teamwork with engineers to defend things. Teamwork with snipers to deal with people who are too far away from you that you can deal with in any other fashion. You need teamwork with spies to deal with um, bigger or heavier classes. You need teamwork with bigger or heavier classes to play as them to make up for the things that you can't do, such as a heavy. A heavy by himself has very, very... Um, Multiple ways of dealing with heavies. There are multiple ways of dealing with heavies and getting rid of them. So, it kind of... It forces teamwork. I mean, you need demo men to get rid of buildings. It forces teamwork. It forces classes to have to work together. Dino D-Day doesn't really do that. Each class can really work by itself somewhat decently well. Of course, there are classes that work by themselves better than others. But... For the most part, they're, pretty much every class can work somewhat decently by itself, which doesn't really cause or make too much need for teamwork. And you see it, you see it in the game that people don't really work together, which is why there's a lot of spawn camping that goes on. Plus the spawns and stuff are all also set up a lot different than TF2 spawns and... Some of the maps, there's not always the easiest ways to get out of areas. Not always the most paths given. And I've been trying to change that by making maps in Dino D-Day. My Dino D-Day maps are, of course, awful. Because I'm very new to Hammer. And there aren't that many custom maps. So the maps that they have are maps that came with the game. And no offense to the guy who makes the maps. But I, th I think it's Fofap. I think that's the, the guy who makes it. CP Fofap. I've seen him online a few times, but I'm pretty sure that's the guy in um, 800 North. I'm being dominated, crap. 800 North, the guys who make this game, who make the maps. No offense to him, but some of the maps don't or don't really, you know, make you have to actually leave your spawn. Some of the maps make it very hard to actually leave your spawn. Some of the maps make it very easy to spawn camp, which is why spawn camping happens. Like this map, there is a whole section of this map. All of that, all of that over there. That in King of the Hill, the hill's over here. So this is why you go over here. King of the Hill, the hill's right here. It forces you to come over here. This isn't King of the Hill. This is a deathmatch. This whole part of the map is rarely, if ever, used. The only part of the map that is ever used is you come out of your spawn, you go across this thing, or you go around back there, and you go over here. That's pretty much it. Very rarely does anyone ever come over here in Deathmatch. Oh, they also changed the newspaper. There's now Stalin. Good old Stalin. I don't know why he's Stalin, but, you know, he's Stalin. Where's Stalin? Stalin over there. And there's also a smaller newspaper instead of being big on your screen. Um, I'm going to try to find the other. See if there's a server with more people in it running. That one had five in it. I was going to connect to that. But, unfortunately, I got stuck in this one. Um, but the that other the place where the hill is in Deathmatch, no one ever goes over there. That place in the background that you saw where I used those stairs to get around behind that one guy who was on the second floor, if you remember that, if you can piece together what I'm talking about. That area is rarely if ever used. Um, and there are areas of this map, there's always an area to get out of your spawn. It's just a lot of them aren't that obvious. And in some places, a lot of them don't even exist. There was one map that was very immensely updated, and that was Fortress. Fortress was originally uh, the game type in which you had to capture machine guns, which I rarely have ever have I had the chance to play. I actually had the chance to play it a little bit um, when the update first came out, but I may have been able to find any servers running it since. Um, let's just go you. Three on two. Fantastic. I'm a dino dude. Nice. One thing I would love, just love to see in this game is another free weekend. Or something to get people back playing it. Because I hate to see that no one plays it. I just hate that. Because I want to play it. If no one's playing it, I mean, there's no one to shoot at. This map, 
of course, a lot of people complaints is that it's too dark. It's actually not too bad for what it is. I have to say, it's not as horrible as people make it out to be. A lot of people just complain, oh, it's too dark, or it's very easy to spawn camp. If you actually play the map and actually look at the map and actually look at how to get out of the spawn, it's not as easy to spawn camp as you think. There are many other ways out to get away from it. A lot of people just walk out this door and that's it. Well, you have over here and you have over there. And if you actually use teamwork, you can actually get out of this place. And then again, you gotta use teamwork. Not very commonly seen in Dino D-Day. It's because it's not forced. And if teamwork isn't forced, then you're not really going to find people who are using it. Something else that they updated on is that dinosaur's steps are supposed to be a lot louder. Oh great, he's got that. Which means there's nothing I can do. This berserk makes you invincible. Fan flippin' tastic! Of course, by running into the fact that there's not a lot of people in the game, you run into areas like that happening where the guy just runs around with... Great, let's favor that. The guy just runs around with berserk and is able to kill you, or get berserk fairly easy and kill you multiple times over and over and over again because there's only like one or two people on your team. And supposedly I've got three people on my team, although I've only ever seen one. Now where is this guy at? No, he's over here. He was just throwing nades at me. Oh, well, my teammate killed somebody. I don't know if they killed him. Oh, there he is. I don't know if that was him or not, but that was somebody. Shotguns seem to have gotten a little bit of a buff as well. So they didn't used to do that much damage, and now they do. There's my other teammate. Where is Nigel at? Hey! Wait, that was Trigger. What, what am I doing here? I wasn't shooting at Trigger. I was thinking, hey, I'm on your team. Is Friendly Fire on? No, that was Trigger. Trigger is on the Allies team. I see him over here. I saw his name. I can't see him. I know he's there, but I can't see him. Which is why, which is the, the big annoyance with this map is the fact that they're, oh, well, it's too dark, you can't really see what's going on. But they've made it this dark and this foggy for a reason, so they could have all those trees in there. Oh, look, present. Nice. And um, Fof have actually explained this to me. The reason, or explained this on the forum, the reason why this map has all is so foggy and has so dark is so they can have all of these props in here. Every tree is a different prop. And a uh, hammer, or a source, doesn't like having too many props going at a time. So the way that they're able to do that is by not having all, a bunch of... I'm stuck on it. By not having a bunch of props load at one time by having a very high fog, which is what this map has, which allows it to work. The map is okay, I have to say. It's not the greatest map. It's not... The worst map it could be. I'd say it is the worst Dino D-Day map that I have seen put out by the main team. But not the worst map, period. I see you, Trigger. Come here. I'm gonna shoot you. And I did it. Indeed I did. We need to even out the teams. Even the teams! Hey, I'm typing. I just got hit by something. I need a medic. I like everyone's playing medic, but you know. I need a medic nonetheless. Looks like someone's got berserk going on, and somebody just punched somebody, and usually punching only happens if you have berserk. Supposedly, they also added health kits to every map. Which, that might sound kind of weird, but yes, some maps didn't have health kits. You would think every map would have health kits, but n they didn't. Like, over here, I think I saw earlier there was a health kit over here now. Somewhere. Maybe on this rock, yeah, there's a health kit now here. But there were a lot of, there were actually some people who I talked to, we didn't even know that, that this game had health packs or health kits. Because they just never saw them. Which doesn't really surprise me, because if you're not really looking for them, you can really miss them. I'm not doing, I'm not doing too hot today. Is that? Let's pick a different class. 
Um, let's try let's try the raptor. Sure. Why not? I'll have to raptor it up. I'm gonna bite some necks. Come here. I'll find you. I'll eat you. Where are you at, guys? I know you were over here. I knew they were over here. Because they killed me over here. They're unfortunately not here anymore. Can't believe I can actually still play good. Well, it's not necessarily that you play good, it's that everyone else sucks. No, I'm just kidding. Played for a while. Yeah, I haven't played for a while either. Question that is in my mind right now. Oh, there they are! Of course! They're shooting me in the face! Where wouldn't they be? But shooting me in the face. Best place for them! Sorry about that. I'm to go check on something, but I am now back to ramble on about random things and that involve dinosaurs and guns. And guns and dinosaurs and dinosaurs and guns. Is there an Easter egg on this map? No. I don't think so. I don't know if any of these maps have Easter eggs. Actually, to be honest. I don't know if 800 North... I want to... Pounce on you! There we go. Yum nom. Mmm, next. And now I'm getting dominated by somebody else. Like, I'm on revenge just to get dominated right off the bat. It's annoying. It's very, very annoying. I do know that... I guess 800 North does kind of do Easter eggs, because some of the posters are supposed to be somewhat based off of people who are in the beta... Or either in the beta or were in the beta. Pounce, there we go. Mmm, all that neck for me. Delicious! You know what I mean? Delicious! Oh, this is a bad place. There's a guy to. Uh, darn it! Now, why was that a bad place? Because if I was to pounce on one, the other one could easily just shoot me off. And move on like that, since it's now a lot easier to shoot the raptors off of people. They get the pounce a little bit less useless, a little bit more useless than it used to be. Let's see that. Ah! Ah, I'm gonna pounce on you. Ah, I'm gonna pounce on you. I'm gonna die. Oh. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Quickly got him. Surprised how quick that happened. Come here. Nyeh. 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 Oh, he's dead. Darn it! I wanted to pounce! I wanted to eat his face. Mmm, delicious face. Get this goat while I'm here. People are starting to pile in. Usually with this game, if you get a somewhat populated server, then it starts getting more and more populated because more people start joining it because it's actually got people in it. Come on. Come on. Pounce on him! Why won't you pounce? Ah. Darn, you pull out the flechette gun. Pouncing's still a little bit awkward. It's about as even as you can make it. Not super easy for the average person to run around and do it, but not super difficult that it's impossible to happen. Yeah, he actually heard my steps. That's that's the new thing with the steps actually being louder. Back in the day, supposedly, you couldn't actually... Oh, great, now you're following me. Back in the day, before the update, you couldn't actually hear steps. So, it's going to be a little bit harder to be ninja dinos. Darn it! That's that grand extra damage that is now piled on. Maybe the raptor was given a little less health. I don't know. But the, the Dino D-Day characters are kind of weird when it does come to health. Because they have their health, then they have a invisible armor rating that goes with it that isn't actually seen or shown by anything which is kind of weird but the, what the armor rating does is it's how different weapons and different attacks affect different characters that's why the m1 grand does more damage to um the the dilo 
the green dinosaur that runs around with the weird thing on its head than it does to other dinosaurs because of that armor rating. Yep, that happens. That happens. So, the armor rating is kind of iffy, and not a lot of people know that it's actually a thing. And originally, when this game first came out, that armor rating didn't change even if you got full, even if you went and got health. Darn it. Back in the day, originally... No, I don't want to. I want to change class. It used to be that when you went into a health place or a re re resupply box, I guess there are, there are crates or boxes, went to a resupply crate, all it did was fill up your health. It didn't actually replenish the armor. And people are actually noticing that, so they told the devs. The devs changed it so now that it does um, a resupply armor and it does resupply um, health as well. And medics also originally didn't do anything with the armor, but now they do. So I don't know why I'm talking about things that are all that far in the past. I do wish that box resupplied my sprint. That would have been nice to see, but unfortunately, no. Also, me being able to crouch as his class. Ah, uh, yeah, allies are victorious. Whatever. Darn it. I think they made that newspaper smaller, so at the end of a game, whenever you shoot people, I mean, when you can run around and shoot people, you can actually see what you're doing, because before, the big newspaper was right in your face, and you could still shoot and get shot, but you couldn't really see, and sometimes it would glitch, so it wouldn't show up for some people, and it would show up for only some others, so I think they changed it so that it always shows up, but it shows up small like that, so you can still shoot people if you want. So, whatever. I do like how they threw the Stalin picture in there, instead of it just being Churchill. But they used to be... Um, Hitler, like it was Happy Hitler and Crying Hitler. If the Axis won, it was Crying. If they, if they, if, they, if the Axis lost, it was Crying Hitler. If they won, it was Happy Hitler. And this game used to actually have um, some. They had swastika textures, and they actually had uh, German rags and stuff on the knives for the Germans that were actually to the period and realistic to what the actual World War II knives and stuff had, trying to make it. Actually, somewhat realistic World War II like. Unfortunately, though, they had to remove all of that stuff in order for this game to be able to be sold in certain regions. Kind of, yeah, I, I know it's kind of stupid. It's kind of annoying that people still, you know, have problems with that. But they had to remove it in order for it to be so shown in some areas and for them to be able to actually sell the game in some areas. But what you gonna do? Could you shoot this off my face? No. Of course not. Why would you try teamwork when you can ignore me? I don't know. Yep. Teamwork. Fail. Why would you try teamwork and actually shoot someone off the face when you can just stand there and watch everyone get eaten? I don't know. I mean, you can hear them. You can't tell me you didn't hear them. Unless you're deaf as a post. No offense to anybody who's deaf as a post. Of course. There, that little raptor. Gotcha! Nah, well you're not stuck now because you're dead! You are dead. There's a health pack as well. There's one of those f fancy newfangled health packs. This map is also very easy to spawn trap the ally, just because of how it's set up, and it's it's not set up for deathmatch. Hey there. Oh, uh, well, I still killed him. It's not set up for deathmatch. It's set up for objective. So that's how the spawns are set up. I mean, you've got spawn up there for the axes for, to defend this bridge. You have to spawn down here for the allies to attack this bridge. And that's how this map works. It works for that. It doesn't really work for anything else. Now, when you play this game map deathmatch, because any every single map can be played as deathmatch, it's very easy to spawn trap the allies because of just how the spawn set up for the objective, and it's not as easy to spawn trap the axis just because of how the spawn set up for the um, for the objective. 
because it's supposed to be easy for the uh, it's supposed to be somewhat easy for the Axis to defend the bridge and difficult for the Allies to attack it. That's how it's supposed to be set up, and that's why it's very easy to sp to um, trap one and not the other. There's a good amount of Raptor going on here. And I am not a big fan of it. There's so much Raptor going on. Whole lot of Raptor going on. Alright, you got him. Okay. If you got him, I'm not going to worry about it. I think the whole other team is Raptors. And since it, considering there's only four of them. Doesn't really say much. I could heal you, pal, but I can't. Use them those newfangled health packs. One of those fantastically newfangled health pack ideas. Can I shoot through this glass? I don't know if it's there and shoot throughable or not. Let's. I don't think so. I'm the only one with kills. I says you got that three in a row. I'm still living off that domination that you got on me because of that three in a row. Or am I dominating him? Don't mean dominated by him. Fraps is crapping out of me. I don't know why. Might be running low. I shouldn't be running low on on space. Fraps crapping out on me the other day, even resetting my computer wouldn't fix it, so I'm gonna try to fix it. I don't know if I will, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I restarted Fraps. If I keep getting lag like that, then I'm just gonna to have to call it a day. The other day I was getting a whole bunch of lag for no apparent reason. I couldn't figure out why. I don't know what my computer was doing to get the lag. It seems like I'm having the same problem here because I'm getting lag for no apparent reason. And even restarting my computer is not gonna fix it. So I'm probably gonna to have to call it a day. I'm gonna to try to fix it. If I can fix it, I'll record more. If I can't fix it, then I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Till next time. Um, hopefully next time is pretty soon, but until next time, I'm Mega Pie Man, and I'll talk to you guys later.